Symbols are used by Masonic lodges, witch covens, Satanists and alchemists to directly access parts of the brain which respond to strong shapes and colors. Just as the saying goes, a picture paints a thousand words, so magical symbols can be used to convey a multi-layered message or command. The use of symbols to convey the desire or will of the magician is generally referred to as sigil magic. To make a magical sigil, you first write down your desire or spell. You then remove all vowels and all repeating consonant letters. You then rearrange the remaining letters into an easily remembered symbol. This symbol or sigil contains the original spell. Sigils are often found in company logos. Every time you watch television, visit the supermarket, or walk the street, your subconscious is bombarded with sigils. In fact, you are living in one giant sigil. What it says in the book of Revelations is that the number of the beast is 666. That every barcode, except for postal barcodes, on this planet contains the number 666. And did you know that? Do you want me to show you? Yeah. Just, just stop the camera a second, I'll get a barcode from somewhere. You've got three sets in, in effect of double lines, one in the middle, one on the side. And those double lines represent the number 6 in barcode technology. So you've got six, six, six. Yes. On every single commercial barcode, on every product. And there are a few people around who produce little stickers that you can put on barcodes to, to, to maze them, to stop the, the, they claim that there is a malign energy coming out of all barcodes, a poisonous, um, sort of etheric field and you put numbers on them to maze them to stop you know to jum jum jumble that field up every single barcode on this planet has got 666 in it and that is millions and trillions of products six there six in the middle and six on that side and that's it surrounded by 666 the number of the beast the mark of the beast Resigned. I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. My life is my own. My life is my own. What do you want? My life is my own. Information. I want information. I'm on. That would be telling for me. You won't get it. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> I am a free man. <laughs> Manly P. Hall was a high-ranking Freemason who wrote The Secret Teachings of All Ages. He states that the radiation symbol is a Masonic sigil 
used in accepted right Freemasonry, which represents the success of our combined plan for world domination. Magical symbols or sigils can also be conveyed using hand signals. In her book, Transformation of America, author Kathy O'Brien claims that she was the victim of a mind control program run by the CIA. She claims that George Bush Sr. used ancient magical hand signals to directly control her subconscious mind. She also claims that Bill Clinton was under mind control. In covertly recorded off-air transmissions from the Bush-Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. Can we do any more? Can we do some 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 more? We don't all call all of that. Lampy, Missouri was a place where I heard George Bush and Bill Clinton talking. I, where from, from the point of view I had, they certainly were friends, and they didn't recognize any party lines between them. That's something for the, you know, a smoke and mirrors illusion for the public. It's not something they adhere to because they had exactly the same agenda, and that was for bringing in this new world order. I heard George Bush talking at that time. He was talking to, to Bill Clinton, and, and I've since photographically recorded it and, and wrote it verbatim in our book that when the American people became disillusioned with Republicans leading them into the New World Order, that Bill Clinton, as a Democrat, was going to be put into the office of president. This was decided in 1984. Actually, I'd heard about it even prior to that. But that, as of 1984, they were already discussing it as an absolute fact. So I wanted to finish the thought here. That's the one break we have to hit live and around the world, but it's hard to believe we're being watched in 151 countries. <laughs> Crazy. Ted Turner changed the world. He's a big fan of you. He would uh, serve you, Captain. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm surprised. Mr. Reddy, what's he going to do once he got left in the game? I'm sure. After you're left in Think about it. No dope. That's for sure. <laughs> Great guy to work with. Too. Remember that every single man, woman, and child in the state of South Carolina awakens to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. I would remind people that every single morning we all awaken to a safer, freer world because of George Bush. And Nicole, I would remind you and the people of Florence that all of us awaken every single day to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. They themselves awaken every single day to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. <coughs> Moscow is in the midst of the last hours of summer. Brainwashing hypnosis 
and even surgical manipulation of the human brain has all been researched thoroughly by the CIA. To provide an objective record of a subject's behavior, she's filmed before treatment and again after treatment. And the two films placed side by side. Notice how the subject before treatment in the picture on the right holds onto the chair as she moves. Notice the difference in posture, the greater effort required to rise from the chair, the longer time needed to complete the simple task. He would uh, cut the skin, take the skin flap back, roll it back. He would then literally remove the skull, the top part of the skull. The patient all this time is under a local anesthetic, completely conscious. From my own point of view, the most unexpected uh, finding was to discover that an elect a mild electrical current applied to the surface of the brain causes a patient to have a memory from his own past sometimes. Good. Make it one volt, please. One volt. Yeah. Is it one volt? I heard what one sounded volt. like an orchestra playing, and I asked the nurse where it was coming from. Where's and she said, What music? And I said, Well, that music, and then it stopped. And then I stimulated it again, you remember, and asked you about it, and you hummed it. Will you hum it now? You remember it? Yes. Go ahead. Da 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 have presented the world with a series of public trials at which prisoners, including some Americans, calmly and apparently without coercion made confessions of unbelievable crimes, espionage, sabotage, treason. To Western observers, these confessions have been so bewildering that a belief has grown that the communists have perfected some mysterious, irresistible technique for manipulating human behavior. V východních domech Prior z nepřeberné nabídky zboží našeho trhu se vám zatočí hlava. Vendy! Schnell! Ausdauernd und robust. Ihr zuverlässiger Begleiter, der neue Trabant 601. Ich dehne sich bei ihr im Laufe der Jahre immer extremer herausbildenden Hang zum luxuriösen Leben nach westlichem Vorbild, wurde ihre ideologische Grundposition später immer mehr aufgeweicht. На белом свете люди издавна повторяются. Было, есть и снова будет так. Будет так, будет так, будет так, будет так. Было, есть и снова будет так. Будет так. Будет так. Будет так. If you uh, sat around a table and you said, right, what we need to do is we need to find some way of getting young people to see the world where the way we want them to see it, mm -hmm. so that by the time they become adults, they are completely um, following the reality we want them to believe in. Someone might say, well, they might not have it like, but... You know the ideal thing? What we do is we have a system where we take children away from their parents at least five days a week, all day, from about the age of four and five, 
and we have control of their minds until they're about 17, 18. That would be ideal. Well, of course, that's what happens. Yeah. It's called the education system. Yes. And it's indoctrination. The whole system, because we, 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 we have two hemispheres of the brain, the left brain, which is about words and this world reality and, you know, the, the, the perception of this reality. We have the right brain, which is where you get creativity, inspiration and uh, connection. And then you've got this corpus colossum, which connects the two. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, um, we use a fraction of our brains. Why is that? Um, and... The other thing is that what the system does is it turns out left brain prisoners. They run the system. Mm -hmm. And it does it by putting information through schools and colleges and universities into the left brain, which it then says at a uh, time of an exam, give me all that back. And if you, if you tell me what I've told you well enough to believe, then you'll uh, pass the exam and you'll be very successful. Mm. Um, any, anyone that takes that information into the right brain and puts their, their spin on it or questions it or sees through it and, man, and puts that in the exam, um, they are um, perceived as a, a disruptive influence in the classroom. Yes, yes they are. And, and so um, what happens is for you to become a doctor overwhelmingly a politician, mm -hmm. a journalist, someone uh, often in um, industry, all these areas um, that uh, control the system. The professions. The professions. Yes. Lawyers. Yes. I mean, on and on we go. You have to have gone through your young life constantly taking information into your left brain and regurgitating it out on exam papers. Um, to become a teacher, you have to go through that process. Then you go through teacher training college where you're, you're taught how to do it to others. And then you let loose on the children. Yes. The whole system um, is run by left brain prisoners. And if you look at the school system, things like music and art that stimulate this side of the brain, the uniqueness, they are constantly cut back um, in, in favour of, 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 of left brain uh, curriculums. Mm. Um, and this is systematic. I have to get this over to people. This is not systematic at the level of, you know, people who administer it into reality. It is um, coldly calculated in the um, shadowy areas where these concepts first come from. Yeah. And they know what they're doing. Yeah, these examinations, what's happening is that, you know, to fit in, to be part of the so-called in-crowd, you have to reconfirm the beliefs of the hierarchy. Exactly. The ancient kingdom of Tibet, situated high in the Himalaya mountains. Tibet is a culture based on compassion totally at odds with the doctrine of the Antichrist. The spiritual and secular leader of Tibet, His Royal Highness, the Dalai Lama, won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1989 for his continued policy of non-violent resistance of the communist Chinese government, who illegally took control of Tibet more than 40 years ago. Tibet is being systematically destroyed by America's most favored nation, communist China. Buddhist monks are being slaughtered and there is wholesale torture of nuns and monks 
who defy the Chinese military and follow the pacifist, anti-war teachings of the ascended Buddhist masters. My brother-in-law and I were arrested together and marched around in front of our village. Then the Chinese shot him in the head and his blood splattered all over me. The Chinese said, so you call for His Holiness the Dalai Lama and call on America for help. But where are they? Will anyone help you? If you obey China, your path will be smooth. If you don't, watch what happens to these two. The Tibetan people are suffering immeasurably under the Chinese. Countless beatings and killings. And though the Chinese say there's freedom of religion, they don't allow us to practice our faith. Come <laughs> Sadie, <laughs> <laughs> Chile Sebrejo, <laughs> Zalanjatra <laughs> 